morning, good Tuesday morning to you, my friends in this launch team. Uh, I haven't jumped in in quite a bit of time, but I wanted to do so this morning to, well, one, just uh, drop in and say hello, good morning, and thank you. Uh, Y'all have been so amazing in this launch, and uh, I'm just so, so grateful for it, the energy, inside of this group has been fantastic and amazing. Hi, Brianna. Uh, and I am just so grateful for all y'all. So I just wanted to uh, quickly acknowledge, man, you are good people. I appreciate the enthusiasm that you have had around the book and inside of this community, for the community, for, I mean, the entirety of time. Uh, watching the way that you guys have been encouraging each other in this darn community has been life-giving. So thank you for that. Appreciate that. Uh, I also wanted to uh, come here before I make mention of something in the book club this morning, because if there were people who might be affected by a decision I made yesterday, it's going to be you. Um, I have been really trying to grapple with learning as much as I can out of just the craziness of this last week plus worth of time, all of the emotion of the launch. Uh, it is really an amazing, interesting, wild, unpredictable thing that uh, so many of the things that I was attempting to teach, hi Jen, in uh, this darn book, I uh, found myself in the launch itself very much a student of the things that I was trying to teach uh, the courage that it takes to do something that uh, maybe you haven't done before or that feels um, like, yep, I found calling, I'm gonna go do it, I feel great about it. Uh, it doesn't, unfortunately, come without your fears still potentially being present and I am witness to, oh my goodness, the unexpected nature to which my fears around what it would mean to launch this book uh, without the kind of support that previously existed when I was launching a book, man, they just really, um, they were so present, so, so, so present. And as I now I'm like spending time, pulled back a bit, uh, hi Brianna, pulled back a bit from uh, being on social, trying to like really, like truly understand, Dave, why did you in the week of release feel so many things that you were feeling around the release. Why, Dave, did you let some of those things push you to thinking that you could, if you just worked hard enough, um, make yourself believe that the limiting beliefs or the fear that you were experiencing around the book of um, being this work in progress, uh, that I am worthy to even have the book come out, or that uh, because the last time I had a book come out, it was when I was in a partnership with Rachel trying to do it by myself, would I be able to do it on my own? I mean, I let those fears drive me into working like a crazy, literally a crazy person until I hit a point of exhaustion. And uh, that exhaustion clearly came through in what was the, uh, the live stream of live streams. But I now find myself in this window where I'm like trying to really understand like, okay, what, Dave, are you meant to learn from all of this experience? What, Dave, can you take away from it? Uh, because I do believe that good will come from anything and everything that we end up experiencing, even the stuff we wish didn't happen, in this pursuit to continue to be courageous in pushing into and doing new things. And one of the things I know for sure is that I still need a little bit of time to understand more about why I <laughs> felt like I had to work myself into the ground, why I like had created some very, very strange connection between, um, you know, earning my way <laughs> to um, thinking myself qualified uh, to be the author of this book. Um, and part of what is required then in that time is to not turn my attention in this immediate moment to using my platform or telling people about a documentary that I am, oh my goodness, so stinking proud of. But um, now that I have uh, the perspective of the last, shoot, couple weeks worth of time, 
this thing that I have so much pride for, it ends with a beautiful bow on top. Like, hey, if you're courageous and you deal with all the things that you're dealing with and you surround yourself with all the people and you do the work and you get closer to God and you identify why you have your fear, all these things. The end of the movie right now ends with me sitting on a rock that I would run to sit and figure things out 18 months, almost two years ago now. And the idea that like that bow on top is the end of the film just feels like a not fully told story in that uh, I now have the perspective I have of how the push for the launch and the way that I reacted in the aftermath of the launch is something that um, needs to be part of the story or it's just an incomplete story. So I ended up having a conversation with the people over at uh, the company that puts this film into theaters yesterday that said, look guys, I love y'all. I am devastated by having let anyone down in any of the things that have happened in the last little stretch of time, certainly let myself down and, uh, and hate the way that anything that I might do could let anyone down, but also I cannot in good conscience get on my stinking social media and start telling people about buying tickets for a documentary, especially when I now don't believe it to be one that fully captures the entire thing. It doesn't have actually like have me, um, including the parts of the story that say, even as you conjure all the courage and have some belief in self that you aren't going to, in the midst of doing the big thing that scares the crap out of you also find that fear coming back around and so I said look would you mind if I take a little bit more time spend it away from being as active on social don't have this thing come out next week but instead wait to see what I meant to completely learn in this season maybe include some of the details of the launch and the way that working myself into exhaustion didn't produce the very best outcome uh, for me or the launch and how that might be incorporated in the story so that it feels like a more complete story, a full story. And if that ends up being something that happens in you know January or February of this year, fantastic. But uh, it feels, yeah, Christine says, I think it was too much to do a book and a movie at the same time. Christine, the line is, I tried, to take a, I tried to take a big, huge bite of a whole bunch of things at one time. It was in fact too much. And my appreciation of that has me wanting now to create some boundaries and slow it on down and ask a lot of questions to learn a lot of things. Um, but if you bought a ticket, they are going to uh, refund everyone's ticket. And when we put tickets back on sale in the beginning of next year, fantastic. I'll tell people about it then. Um, but I didn't want uh, you to hear it from somewhere else first, as much as, yep, I'm gonna jump into the live and make mention of it to people generally. Uh, this is the longest explanation I'll probably give about it, but you guys deserve the longest explanation because you're my crew and you have been here from the word go. So uh, I appreciate you. Hopefully you understand uh, that. It's not an easy choice, but I think it's the right one. And I think it's gonna actually make the thing that people do get a chance to watch and enjoy a thing that is more connected to the real authentic experience uh, that comes in cultivating the courage to do the things you believe that you're here to do and the reality that it's super nonlinear, that you're gonna take big, big steps towards big, big things. There are gonna be times when you bite off more than you should. There are gonna be times when you give into that fear instead of uh, allowing yourself the ability to connect to your truth and not the worry or the imposter syndrome or the self-doubt that might have presented. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try and capture, I'm going to try and capture all of that in a way that maybe makes someone who also experiences going through hard things or having to cultivate courage feel normal in seeing some of uh, what ends up just being humanness on display by capturing some of that humanness and not having the movie have uh, such a bow on top kind of ending since I'm not uh, experiencing bow on top kind of feelings in real time. I'm grateful uh, in so many ways. I mean, like, I, yeah, do I wish that I could have handled things differently or thought differently or felt differently? Of course, but I am me, I am a human being and I have human uh, experiences and emotions and I 
I've come to appreciate that these things are for me like anything else and that uh, in a Romans kind of way, like good's gonna come from these things. It doesn't mean I get a choice necessarily in how they happen, but good's gonna come. And so I'm gonna keep on keeping on short term, stay focused on trying to listen and learn, spend time having conversations and therapy and whatever else to understand everything I possibly can. Um, keep doing my book club because I am enjoying it and, and you guys being in there have been rad. So, all right, that's all. I'm gonna jump into book club now. I love y'all. Uh, Nicole said, did I miss something? Did the documentary get canceled? Uh, we're pushing it, Nicole. We're gonna push it. Uh, I'm gonna, if you jumped in late, I'm gonna slide the documentary from next Wednesday to call it January or February, sometime when the story that is being told has actually finished telling itself. <laughs> I, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that we're getting to a place where it's gonna feel like I understand, um, you know, a little bit more of why and what has happened, why all things are happening the way they are, but I'm still learning in real time. So um, it'll be out when the story's done, uh, when the story's done telling. So anyway, I'm gonna um, jump over to the book club right now. I love y'all. Thank you for being so supportive of uh, the book and certainly of me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And um, I'll see you in the book club in just a sec. All right. Bye, guys.